Hey, good morning, Strategic Prepper community. Beautiful morning here in West Tennessee. And uh, I want to talk to you today about the coming food crisis. And uh, yeah, I got the quote marks. I'll tell you why in just a moment. But a couple of things real quick. Uh, click that like button if you could and subscribe. Uh, that really does mean a lot on the algorithm. And share, that also does help on the algorithm. And join us on Patreon because on Patreon, we've got a lot of good things going uh, detailed uh, discussions on prepping and on politics and things like that. So uh, I want to talk about this food crisis. Um, 10 weeks is what I'm reading. 10 weeks, calculate. That's around August 1st. Okay, so by August should be a food crisis. What does that mean? Well, I'm in the U.S., so I think of things from the U.S. viewpoint. So uh, what does that mean? for us food crisis. Well, let's first of all understand how this works. If there's a shortage of wheat, that's what we're talking about, wheat. If there's a shortage of wheat, typically um, wheat is a very re uh, uh, replaceable item. Um, that means that people, instead of buying wheat, will go buy something else. Let me give you an example. Uh, if, you, uh, if you like pancakes or biscuits for breakfast, and there's no wheat to make the pancakes or the biscuit, no flour, um, then you may just replace that with eggs and bacon. All right? So uh, uh, that doesn't mean that there'll be starvation all over the place. Now, for other parts of the world, uh, that may be a bigger case. I'm just trying a different hold here. That may, be, uh, that may be different, but in the U.S., we have options, and when options... What options mean is if there's a shortage or the price goes up too high, we choose something else. All right. So that part, not necessarily a big deal. But I'll tell you what. i tell you what's in the back of my mind, and it's moving to the front of my mind. Because you, I know my history. I'm pretty dang good on history. And what I'm thinking about is the food crisis of the 30s in Russia, where uh, the Soviet Union starved millions of people to gain compliance and i'm thinking of the food crisis in the 80s in ethiopia you guys remember we are the world right you guys all remember that you older people you guys that are graying like me y'all remember we are the world uh yeah um so uh that was manufactured by the government against their political enemies. So I, you know, that's on the back of my mind. I'm not, I'm not saying there's anything here, although I am kind of saying that. Yeah, I am, I am, I am. Um, but uh, you know what? If you don't have food, it doesn't really matter where it's coming from. Uh, it does help to understand where it's coming from. Um, but uh, uh, you know, uh, if you're out of food, what matters uh, is that you have taken the preps uh, uh, that you've taken the, uh, the the steps to prep uh, so that you've got some food. I mean, I've got, uh, what do I got here? I got one of my raised beds here. Yeah, there we go. Something's starting to grow. Um, but uh, yeah, manufactured means that it's not going to follow normal economic patterns and um, uh, like the uh, baby formula thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, this just happened. No, no, FDA was shutting down factories and then not getting back with the companies to get them open again. Um, uh, that's manufactured. All right. I mean, I, I work in safety and security. And, you know, and you deal with like MSHA. MSHA shuts down an area. You want to open up? You know what? They're there. They're there. Unless, of course, tell, someone tells them not to be there. Then they're not there. Uh, so that's what I think is happening. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking there's a possibility that uh, this is manufactured. Yes, there's a war in Russia, but uh, you know what? Um, check out our videos. Uh, we were talking about a food crisis prior to the war. The signs were there already. That just means that this war may have exacerbated it, but the issues were already going to happen. So hopefully you guys are ready. Hopefully you got some food stocked up uh, to make it through so that uh, um, you're not uh, going to be suffering. But back to the, what, what does this mean in the U.S.? It doesn't mean that we're going to be hungry in the streets. That's always a possibility. That's always a possibility. But in Western countries, most likely what this means is price increases. 
and uh, you just have to change replacing one type of food for another type of food. All right, so uh, be ready for that. Um, let's not overly panic on this and uh, we have to keep our wits about us and uh, keep our preps ready. But uh, um, yeah, this, this food crisis could be pretty bad, could be a tool of the government and it could just be um, uh, on the practical side. That's what I'm talking about. On the practical side, could just mean uh, we have to change our food options and uh, prices could go up, 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 up. I'm predicting like 30% increase in food uh, probably by the end of the year. Um, and that's pretty significant. So uh, uh, eat out less and all that other stuff. But uh, I just want to share my thoughts. 10 weeks, that's August 1st. All right, by August, they're saying we could have a food crisis. And whether it's manufactured or not, um, it doesn't mean that we're going to be having bloated bellies from malnutrition. Um, although that is always a possibility down the road, I don't think we're there in the Western countries. Um, I think, uh, uh, uh money will talk and, uh, we'll get, uh, something. Um, all right. So uh, check out this video and this video over here on, uh, uh food and, uh, we'll see you guys later. Stay safe, stay prepared.